the diagram show the velocity time uh, graph uh, motion of a uh, athlete running along the straight track first four second accelerate uh, to nine uh, this is velocity and this is meter per second and then we can see that the constant velocity acceleration is zero the first question is the rate at which the athletic accelerates so then the rate so acceleration acceleration is this height is 9 and this distance is 4 9 divided by 4 that is 2.25 ms minus 2 this is ms and divided by s part b the displacement from the starting point uh, starting point of athletic after 12 seconds so we want to find the total displacement it means uh, area uh, is area of uh, o a b c you can name like this o a b c is half of uh, 12 this distance is 12 this is 8 and perpendicular height is 9 so this is 20 divided by 2 10 10 times 9 uh, 90 meter Uh, question 2 a car moving along a straight line road when t equals 0 car passes a point a with the velocity uh, 10 meter per second uh, it's like this a car is moving and we are watching from here the place when we are here t equals 0 so it's coming from here so at that point 10 ms minus 1 then uh, this maintain until 30 second so this 10 they maintain until 30 seconds so this is t equal 30 and then uh, by t equal 42 uh, he came to the rest uh, we'll so start from t equals 0 and the velocity uh, it has when t equals 0 10 and it will maintain up to 30 so after that it's uh, decelerate uh, and become to 0 when t equal 42 so this is the journey O A B C. Now the first question is sketch the velocity graph illustrates motion of the car. So this is T is second V M S minus one. Yes. Axis are fine. Yes, motion is so A done. Now part B. Find the distance from A to B. So distance from A to B is uh, actually my a and b is different to the sum so we'll write like this this is a and this is b so we'll put here like uh, p q r um, distance a to b is area area of uh, o p q r so it is a trapezium half uh, this is 42 plus this is up to 30 and perpendicular height is 10 so this is going to be 
42 plus 30 72 um, over 10 so this is 36 times 10 360 meters first question is uh, acceleration of uh, part 3 acceleration of cyclists of first 20 second so you don't need to read the sum even when you look at this graph you know that uh, uh, acceleration you want to find the gradient uh, o p q uh, so acceleration first 20 seconds is equal to a divided by 20 that is 0 0.4 ms minus 2 and part b the deceleration was 15 now deceleration i said that two ways you can put the minus uh, later um deceleration actually if you use the word deceleration you don't need to put negative just uh, a divided by this distance is uh, you want to find the gradient of this one 15. So, this is going to be 0 0.5 33 ms minus 1 but if you find the in terms of acceleration acceleration it is minus 8 over 15 ms minus 2 so which is minus 0 0.53 uh, deceleration means it remove the negative so now see the dis the displacement from the starting point to the 75 so we need to find the area uh, this place month is equal to area of OPQR so it is a trapezium half a this is 75 plus this is uh, 60 minus 20 40 and the perpendicular height is 8 so 75 plus 40 115 times 4 which is going to be 460 4 times 15 60 4 times 1 so ms minus so meter The motorcycle to start from point A is and uh, it's a straight track. He moves constant acceleration 15 seconds. So constant acceleration uh, he moves 15 seconds. Uh, the reaching to 30. So this value is 30 and then he travels constant velocity t distance like this this is t and then finally decelerate and come to f First, constant acceleration then constant velocity and deceleration and come to f 15 and then t distance and deceleration uh, 25 seconds after he began to decelerate so this is 25 25 so this is 15 and this is 25 okay i will take this is 15 as well like this now the first question is to sketch the graph illustrate the motion given that the distance s to f is 2.5 kilometer okay so so this total distance is 2.5 
kilometer 2400 uh, meters so then calculate the modes are you take travel to s2f time so s2f time so we don't know this time so we they have given the details to find b travel distance is 2400 meters also traveled distance equal to area o p q r area of o p q r so this area is half a this is uh, 15 plus t plus 25 plus this distance is t again times perpendicular height is 30 so uh, and this value half uh, half a times with 30 mean 50 times t plus t 2t plus 30 40 so uh, 15 times 2t plus 40 equal 24 0 2400 so 2t e equal 2400 divided by 15 minus 40 so 2t equal 160 minus 40 2t equal 120 t equal 60 so this distance is 60 and calculate the uh, time taken to travel to s to f is 15 plus 60 plus 25 that is 100 seconds a train question number five a train from start from x more to 0 0.6 ms minus 2 20 second and uh, it come to a v the velocity it reach after 20 second they maintain this velocity to t second so it is up to here v and then train uh, decelerate uh, in further 40 seconds so uh, 40 second it's become to uh, zero so this is the journey Uh, this is a normal sum again. Time and velocity. This gradient is given. 0 0.6. This is the acceleration. O. We know this is dv over dt in other way or simply we divide by t so dv over dt it is applicable if there is a curve like this but it, there is no curve so we can stay with simply v divide by t uh, and this velocity will take v so this distance is 20 and this is t and this is 40 so what is the question schedule even that the displacement from the starting point to the particle after it's come to the rest is 480 sorry sketch the graph train given the distance between the station 4.2 kilometer find the value of t so same sum again so a done b um, 
डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एक्स टू टी एक्स एन वाई इस फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड मीटर्स डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एक्स वाई इक्वल एरिया ऑफ पी क्यू आर एस ओह दिस इज गोइंग टू बी हाफ दिस डिस्टेंस इज ट्वेंटी प्लस टी प्लस एरिया ऑफ द ट्रपेसियम फोर्टी प्लस अगेन टी टाइम्स परपेंडिकुलर हाइट बी नाउ दिस इज इक्वल हाफ टाइम्स टी प्लस टी टू टी प्लस फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्सटी इक्वल फोर टाइम्स वी इक्वल फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड नाउ देयर इस वन मोर अननोन हियर टी सो टू अननोन्स टू इक्वेशन वी नीड इट वी यूज दिस वन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाउ सो देन वी हैव टू यूज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू सो यस वी कैन फाइंड टी वी सो एक्सेलरेशन P to Q equal um, velocity divided by time. So it's basically dv over dt, but this is a line v divided by t. Uh, then velocity, this value is zero point six. Velocity will be take v. And time is we know twenty. So v value is zero point six times twenty. That is v is one point twelve. So this value is now twelve. So we know that uh, half a times two t plus sixty twelve equal four thousand two hundred. So this is going to be six and Two uh, t plus sixty equal four thousand two hundred divided by uh, six. So this is seven hundred. So two t equal seven hundred minus sixty and six hundred and forty, and t equal three hundred and twenty. So part c is we need to find. The distance travelled by the train when it is constant. So, uh, distance travelled by the train with the constant velocity is equal to area of this uh, rectangle. So, height is twelve. The length is we found out three hundred and twenty. So multiply by three hundred and twenty. So the answer is four thousand three thousand eight hundred and forty meters. Question number six. A particle moves along a straight line. The particle accelerates from rest to velocity ten. So it accelerates rest to ten. And uh, for fifteen seconds, so this length is fifteen. For a period of time and. Uh, Particle move at a constant velocity for a period of time. The particle decelerates uniformly to rest after that. Okay, decelerates uniformly to rest. The period of time which particle is traveling at a constant velocity is four times the period. Okay, if this is t, this is four times period. Uh, let's catch the. Uh, time graph illustrating the particle. Given that the displacement starting from the particle is come to the rest is 480 meters, so total distance is 
now this is t and second and v and m s minus one so it is complete now we are done for the uh, find the total time the particle is moving uh, distance is given total travel distance is given 480 meter again distance uh, traveled distance equal to area of O P Q R O P Q R so that is half of this the PCM length 15 plus 5 T times uh, sorry mm -hmm. 5 T this distance 15 plus 5 T and this is 40 times perpendicular height is 10 so this is going to be 15 plus 5 t 90 5 plus 4 90 plus 15 times 5 equal half of 10 is 5 equal 480 so 19 plus 15 equal uh, 480 divided by 5 which is 96 so 19 equal 96 plus 15 which is 1 and 8 81 so this is 90 equal 81 t equal 81 divided by 9 equal 9 second so this is 9 second and this is 36 seconds uh, total traveling time is 15 plus 36 plus 9 oh, 9 times 5 45 50 number 7 the particle moves 100 meters in a straight line so it means this total distance is 100 meters and now we know that the time we know the only thing we don't know is u we can find the u straight away so, so given a Travel distance is 100 meter. Uh, so distance equal area of uh, let's say O P Q R S. area of op qrs so this area is i can see a one trapezium and a triangle this size is 10 half uh, 10 plus this one is uh, 7 times perpendicular height is 10 uh, we'll, sorry, we'll consider this one this triangle this trapezium 
this is the parallel line so half u plus this one is 10 and the perpendicular height is 3 for this one plus one more trapezium so this is another trapezium so this is the parallel line half 12 minus 3 9 plus this distance is 10 minus 3 7 perpendicular height is this one now it is 10 so now this value is equal to 100 so half a u plus 10 times 3 plus half a uh, 9 plus 7 16 times 10 equal 100 so we'll multiply by 2 so this is going to be I'll, at the same time I'll expand 3u plus 3 times 10 30 and this is 1660 and this is 200 so initially will multiply 200 then 3u plus 30 plus uh, 160 so this is 3u equal this is 190 200 minus 190 equal 10 u equal 10 divided by 3 10 divided by 3 so this value is 10 divided by 3 Part B, we want to find the acceleration of the particle. It means we want to find this gradient. So we'll consider this big triangle. And this height is 10 minus uh, acceleration is 10 minus 10 minus 3 divided by uh, this distance 3. Three seconds so this is going to be 3 times 10 20 divided by 3 by 3 20 divided by 9 so 20 divided by 9 m is minus 2 a motorcycle m leave the road junction at t equals 0 so m leaves junction t equals 0 he accelerate at rate of 3 m is 2 uh, for 8 seconds and maintain the velocity she has reached then we will get a v then from this v she maintain uh, car c leaves from the road m So t equals 0 m m at t equals 0 the acceleration is to 30 so this is 8 second this is 30 second uh, in 20 seconds the v is 30 and maintain this velocity c passes m they both passes pedestrian so when they are both pass to together i mean c passes m at that time the both uh, car travels the same distance this is the requirement on the same diagram a sketch of the time the illustrates of the motion in man c so the one car the first car is moving up to here for v velocity within eight second and it's continuous and the other car uh, up to 30 and then it is continuous when they are passing each other then the, the requirement is that traveling distance by both car has to be same 
so then we have one equation but so th then we can find the t but uh, there is a v another unknown so we need to find uh, one more information that so the acceleration is given in this one 3 ms2 then we can find v so let's first of all find that one uh, So A is 3 ms2, T is uh, 8 and we need to find, so A equal V divided by T, so V is 3 and uh, this is T is 8, sorry. So V equal A T cross multiply. Then A is 3 and T is 8. That is 24 uh, ms minus 1. So this is going to be 24 ms minus 1. So we'll find the area of both and has to be equal. So we'll calculate the distance travel by m so this is m so this is the trapezium we can see that so this distance is uh, okay half a times 8 plus 12 up to here 20 plus t and perpendicular height is 24 it means this is cancel out 20 plus t times 12. The distance travel by c is this one again another trapezium half uh, this distance uh, I have to do correction here uh, this distance yeah this is right 20 plus t and I forgot to add this again. So this one is t and then this is going to be 12. t plus 12. So times perpendicular height 20. Oh, so this is going to be half a 12 plus 12, 32 plus 2t. And this distance now, the other one, half a, this whole distance is uh, 20 plus t plus just t again times perpendicular height is 30 so times 12 this one or 12 times half times 24 12 so likewise half a times 30 15 plus 20 plus 20 so at the point of overtaking distance are equal so 12 times 32 plus 2t equal 15 times 20 plus 2t let's see I can simplify with 3 uh, this is 3 this is Five, so this is 32 times 3 plus 40 equal 100 plus 20 uh, something wrong because t's answer is going to be a negative answer erase here so 4 times this is 4 and this is 5 right so 4 times 32 128 4 times 2 8 so 80 so this is 2t equal 28 so t equal 14 so this distance is 14 so this boundary is going to be 34 part b is we need to find the distance 
this distance is now half i will take the uh, big uh, so that is going to be whole 34 and then this distance is uh, 14 times perpendicular height is 30 so 15 times uh, 34 44 48 so i consider only one uh, vehicle and i the second one so i found the area so distance the area is 720 meters